Hello, it's Vince Stanzioni here, and in this video, we're going to be going through DerivX with Deriv. And the main thing I really want to show you, and I'm quite excited about, is the new Trading View features. So within DerivX, you can access Trading View. I'll also show you um, a couple of shortcuts as well, and I'll show you how you can use a free Trading View um, account as well as using your DerivX to get even more features. Uh, before we dive in and get started, the usual disclaimers, anything that I show you today is for information and educational purposes only. If I'm saying buy or sell, these are not buy or sell recommendations. Um, I'm using a demo account with Deriv, and if you're new to DerivX or TradingView, um, what I suggest you do is, is get a demo account and um, try it out so you've got no risk, and then when you're ready to start, you can just start with sort of small um, trades. Now, we're using a web-based, in fact, I think I'm just using the Brave browser, but you can use any browser you wish. Um, I like this because, one, it's very fast. Um, I haven't had to download anything. Literally, I've just gone through uh, Deriv, or you can just bookmark the, uh, the site. And as I said, we're in a demo account here, so I've just been, the last few days, I've just been playing around with setups. Now, the nice thing about DerivX and TradingView, it's very customizable. You can make it how you want. So let's start with the layout. So up here in the corner, I've just got the standard Deriv X here. And then if we go to the default layout, so we go load, load layout, and you can have numerous layouts. Um, so this is now trading view. So we're still in Deriv X, we're in trading view. And just to be clear, these are actual tradable charts. Yeah, so this is linked to your Deriv account. So this is real money going on here. Um, so just obviously, there's something on here called one-click trading you need to be a little bit careful of because sometimes um, you can click especially on a real account. So um, I think to start with probably have the one-click trading not activated. Now I see a lot of new traders and they want to have like 20 charts at once and you can do that. Yeah, If you want all your lovely charts, for instance here, where I go here, you can change, you can have, how many can you have? You can have lots, Yeah, all open at once. Um, personally, I'm a little bit older now. I think I get more than two and um, that's enough for me. So I just be careful about how many charts you want open at the same time. Obviously it depends on, on your screen as well. But normally I go with something like two or maybe four, um, sort of the quad screen, which is here. Um, and they say all these are modules so you can open and close them um, as you wish. So for instance, this list here, which um, this is quite a good list because it's got a lot of the uh, key markets. Because remember here, we can trade everything off one platform, which is what I really love. So we've got currencies, we can trade commodities. Deriv have recently added some new commodities, including natural gas, cocoa. Um, they've added cotton. Um, so you, know, you, you could be trading like your natural gas and your, your euro dollar and Bitcoin and so obviously the volatility indices all at once. Right now, for instance, I've just been sort of like doing a few setup trades and I've just got some volatility positions here. You can see here, and obviously we can have our orders and we can have our history here. So all the trades that I've been uh, putting through, but I said it's just a demo account. Now the nice thing also I like about Deriv is whether you're on a Deriv account, or on a demo account, or whether you're on a real account, each trade is treated the same. So look here, for instance, they say these are just demo trades. We've still got order IDs, so they're being properly going through the market. It's not a case that of oh, a demo account is is one price and the real account is another. It is exactly the same. Um, and I say to a lot of people sometimes, I was making money on a demo account. I'm not making money on a real account. Um, that's you. It's not. It's, it's not that Derry was all of a sudden changed. It's your psychology. Um, by the way, if you haven't seen, I've written quite a few ebooks for Deriv. One of them is Seven Secrets uh, to Traders. And that's one of the things I talk a little bit about, the psychology and things about recovering from losses. If, if you haven't got that, you can get that free from Deriv. All right, so we're back, in, we're back into Trading View. Um, what I would like to do is probably just go with one chart, okay? So we're just going to go with one gold, gold versus the dollar. Obviously, here is where we can buy and sell. Now, there's also... Um, Shortcuts here. Professional traders on the whole, and I used to be a trader, uh, you don't use a mouse. You normally use your keyboard. Why? Because it's more reliable 
and it's faster. So if I was trading, say, like if I hit Shift B, you get the buy ticket come off. Shift S, you, um, let me just close that a second. Shift, Shift S is if it's a sell ticket. Yeah, so it just gives you a way, and there's a lot of shortcuts on here, for instance, like Shift F goes to full screen, and Shift F back again, goes again. And you can learn these and pick these up if you, if you look for shortcuts uh, on uh, Trading View. Um, Shift V, actually, I've been using, and that what that does, it just brings up um, all the stocks or markets that begin with V. And the reason why that's handy, because I get all the volatility index, indices. If I sort of hit uh, B, um, and sort of start typing boom, I can get the boom 1000 index. Um, so that's that's just one thing I've been doing, Shift V. Um, but as I say, there's, 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 ma there's, many, there's many shortcuts on here, but a lot of professional traders will use the keyboard rather than the actual um, just go through the mouse for, for you know for those main things, especially when speed matters. Uh, let's just go back to gold. So gold versus the USD, back to there. And I hope you, you notice how fast this is. And I'm actually using a screen recording software here as well. So it's a little bit slower than what it should be. Um, usual things we've got at the top, we've obviously got how much our profit and loss is. Um, and then obviously we can have the watch list, positions. Um, now, if you go out here to tools, that's how you open Trading View. Um, we've also got Deriv Academy. We've got trading journals. We can put notes and all sorts. But as I say, I like to keep the screen the screen fairly um, simple. Right in this section, let's have a look at adding indicators. Now, whichever trading platform you're using, whether it be Trading View, whether it be MT5 or a combination of all of them, all I say with indicators is. Be careful that some, you know, I see some traders, they put like, there's a hundred plus indicators on here. You don't have to put all of them on at once. Uh, what I'll do, I will put a few indicators on um, because then I want to show you how to take them off as well, which is using this function here. So uh, one that I personally like and I've used a long, long time is called DeCheney Channels. And I've actually written about these in my uh, eBooks as well. And these are trend trading, basically price channels. And we can use these on different, um, Time frame. So you see how easy um, I just added that on. And you know, in the old days when I first started out, I used to have to do these like 20 day low and then count back, draw. Um, but of course, now it's all done for you. And then the middle line um, is literally uh, added in there as well for you. But I mainly just use the top and the bottom line. And, th and these are basically trend trading. Now, if I want to uh, change the periods, so this is a 20 period launching channel. If I want to go, a shorter term so it make it tighter I can go 10 and it's literally that quick and there's obviously various adjustments but I'm going to leave it at the 20 which is uh, pretty much the standard now notice I say 20 periods sometimes I say 20 days um, but it's obviously depends what chart we're looking at so if you're looking at a one minute chart you know it looks like that if we look at a five minute chart it looks different and obviously um, and it's adjusting so when it's a one minute um, chart then you're looking at 20 minutes if you're looking at a daily chart then you're looking at 20 days um, and right now this is quite strong if you're wondering what these little arrows are um, these are some trades that I've been making I've just been making some practice trades so that's your adding your price channels what I normally do I probably have one sort of indicator like uh, moving averages Bollinger Bands uh, price channels and then maybe one oscillator such as um, RSI which as you know, normally your, your uh, oscillators or your indicators, like that, they will actually sit in a separate window, for instance, like that. And again, if you want to change relative strengths, there's various um, ways that you can do that and you can change it. Um, but normally these come to default. By the way, any of these indicators, these are not proprietary to Deriv or TradingView. You can search them up. So if you want to know the history, which is quite interesting, actually, if you search Donchian channels, uh, you can read about Richard Donchian, who actually came up with this in the 60s. Um, and many people say it's one of the godfathers of uh, trend trading. All right, so now let's say, let me add some more. Let me just make this as colorful as possible. Um, I tell you what, let's stick some Bollinger Bands on there. Uh, actually, the traditional Bollinger Bands, right. So now let's say I've come to the point where I've added so much stuff on my screen that I think, oh, you know, this is too much. All we have to do is select this little object tree box here, and I can just delete them. 
I am going to delete, I'm just going to go back. What I'm going to leave is the price channels. Okay, so let's look at actually placing a trade. And we're on gold here, so we, we can stay on gold. Um, now, as I, say, as I already mentioned, we can trade numerous contracts from here and time frames. So, for instance, I can have a boom 1000, I can have a trade on gold. Um, at the end, I'll actually show you another little idea as well, which is trading CFDs and options simultaneously. Um, so, TradingView and DerivX is obviously a CFD platform, but we've obviously got DTrader uh, from Deriv, which we can have open at the same time as well. Uh, I think sometimes some people are in the CFD camp or they're in the options camp. Um, I actually trade both and, and do pretty well from it. All right, so here we've obviously got the spread. We've got the, which is pretty tight on gold. Remember, this is daily um, contracts. There is a swap fee, which is normally the interest charge. Um, normally when you're short, you're paid a little bit. If you're long, you are, uh, you have to pay it. And remember, regardless whether you're in a winning or losing trade, you have to pay. Think it's like an interest charge. Yeah, because when you're trading with Derek, normally you're using margin. So think about it, you're putting up a deposit, Derek is lending you the rest, um, and then you obviously have to pay an interest rate on that. Now, on daily trades, that doesn't really matter, but on a longer trade, you are paying. Um, and obviously there's the uh, spread as well, but here's narrow. So let's say I'm gonna buy gold here, so I, and I can buy at the market, click that. And remember, if we wanted to go quickly, we could have just gone to Shift B as well, we've got it there. Uh, one lot's fine. We can obviously set a limit. We can set stops. I'm not going to set a take profit or a stop because I'm going to show you a different way to do it. Um, so yeah, buy at that price. Fine, buy. There you go. Order's gone through. So let's let's get rid of that and close it and you'll see it's come up here. Now, can you see where the one is? We've got TP, take profit and SL. If I sort of just hover, now this is where actually you probably do want to use a mouse. Let me see. Okay, see that? Look what's happening here. I can move the stop loss. So let's say I'm going to put the stop loss here at the bottom, there. And look, it's the numbers have come in here. Yeah, so I'm going to, yeah, I'll take that. And let's say I want to put a take profit. Hold the take profit. And I'm going to take my profit, let's say just here. And look, it's now filled in with take profit. So that's quite neat. So you, you can actually visually put your uh, profit lines and I'll modify it and I'll go with that. Okay, so now that's there. And of course I can move these as well at any time, uh, but it's just another way to do it. So let's close that one down. So I've showed you the indicators. I've showed you how to place a trade. Obviously we can close a trade in two ways. Um, one of the quickest ways actually just here, if you just click on the X. So say the trade we've just made, we want to close it. Um, so we just literally close, close position, done. And obviously the, the, um, the corresponding take profit and stop losses, they were closed at the same time as well. So now we don't have um, that position on gold any, anymore. Let's close that down as well, because I can say I'm all for about keeping the screen as large as possible. And we've gone through indicators, we can change charts. Uh, by the way, some people prefer, um, I per personally like a dark sort of screen, but you can also have a light screen as well. So if you want to switch to light theme, you can go through there, you can play sounds. Again, I tend to not um, want any sounds. So it's very customizable, you know. Okay, in these last few minutes, I just want to show you something else. Now, you remember what we said that the uh, DerivX trading view, we, we're just in a web browser. So if, obviously we can open more than one window. So what I've done here, I've got trading view with Deriv, which is obviously our trading platform, so we can trade on these charts. And I've just opened a separate window. Um, and what I've got in this one, I've got trading view, just a free account with trading view. Um, so I haven't paid for anything, it's just a free account. And what I can do with this, I can use this to help me find signals and ideas. Now, derived indices are not covered um, in this product, but we have got things like Forex, gold, uh, commodities and indices. So just an example, and obviously I can make this as big or as small as I want, yeah, I can obviously drag it across, um, but just to keep it sort of like in proportion, I think about that size there for me works quite well, and then I keep my trading here. So let's click on the S&P 500, 
And for those who haven't used TradingView, um, you can get a free account. It's not just charting. Obviously, you've got all your charting here. It's a community. People can share ideas, discussions, etc. Of course, just be careful. And again, you know, when I show you this, uh, the technicals, it, this is an opinion. Yeah, I wouldn't say you go and buy and sell straight off there. But what it, you can use this for. So let's look. This is the S&P 500. OK, and I just pressed technicals. We could go to one minute five minutes, 15 or one hour, I think you can go daily and go more, but let's just stay in the one minute. So what this is doing, it's going through the various technical indicators and giving you a reading, uh, and that's on a buy, the oscillators are on a sell, and so on and so on. And then if you carry on going further down, all these indicators that we have here, we can actually see, are any of them uh, giving us a buy or a sell signal? Now, shorter term, um, it tends to work a little bit better when you actually start going a little bit longer term. Um, but, you know, it, this is say, it, it's, I, it's an idea rather than you say, oh, I'm going to go and buy and sell straight off there. And it can help you to build up trading systems. Think like, for instance, moving averages. Let's say the simple moving average 10. Yeah, it's on a buy. Why is it on a buy? Well, because the price is over 10. And we can check that back here as well. Um, simple moving average 20. Yeah, that's on a buy as well. And obviously, as we change the time frame, so if I go to, um, let's go to daily, one day, all this is obviously now based on the one day. And obviously, you can see it's on a buy there as well. And then I've got things like pivot points, which can be used. But again, as they say here very wisely, don't take this data as investment advice. It's just ideas. So just to recap, this is just a web um, browser open. And in fact, I can go to any website. And this is our DerivX with trading view here. So I'm using this side to help me find trading ideas and this side to execute the trades. And I'll show you, there's another site I use. It's called Bar Chart as well. I've used it for many, many years. Um, this is again free, but there's also a paid version. And it's the same type of thing. You know, it's going through to give you an idea um, of trades. There's something on here called Traders Cheats Sheet, which I've used a lot in the past. And things like support and resistances, pivot points, gives you an idea uh, that you can build into your trading. And again, they cover stocks, commodities, they're very strong on Forex indices. Um, now, before we, we uh, finish, let me just show you another idea as well. What I've opened up here is my uh, DTrader account. So I've got my CFD sitting here. Um, so let's say I bring up my volatility 100. So I'm trading by volatility 100 by the CFD, and then I can also at simultaneously have an option position. So if I see something starting to go sideways, um, I can open a rise fall or um, you know a touch or no touch, and I can have this trading in in a new window. Yeah, so um, it's something to consider as well. So and, and these obviously options, you can have longer term options, you can have short term options. Another example, say for instance, I'm trading gold and gold's trending higher, which is fine. And then I start to see it's going sideways. Well, I'm not gonna make money on my CFDs if the gold price is going sideways, whether I go long or short. But if I come over to DTrader, there's options um, on gold. Although obviously the volatility index is very popular, the boom. If we come down to commodities, gold, Okay, I can look to have an option on gold, maybe um, a daily option or whatever duration is being offered and we can see. Uh, and a lot of times you can close these out early as well. So I can be trading an option on gold whilst I have the uh, CFD open as well. As I hope you sort of understand, there are huge opportunities here. Um, as I say, start out you know, with a demo account, learn, pick, you know, then start with small. And then, you know, you, you can customize all this. Remember, you can save the templates. So um, you can save here and then load. So load and save as current. Um, save template as, you can have numerous ones. So I'm just gonna save that again, save. So every time you're not having to um, start from scratch. Um, so that's it. So that's basically DerivX with TradingView. And then at the end, what I've all I've shown you is a um, an open web browser, which I've opened the TradingView website, and obviously I've shown you bar chart, I've shown you the uh, DTrader as well. All right, 
I'll be making some more videos in due course, uh, but thanks for watching and I wish you lots of luck in your trading.